Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to give you my updated full review on this bag from Buffalo Jackson Trading Company. This is the Madison Leather Crossbody Fold Over Clutch. It's a mouthful, but I really do like this bag. I wanted to mention um, this bag was sent to me to do a full review. I shared an unboxing video and then this is going to be my update after using the bag. The bag was sent to me to review, but I want to make sure that you knew that. But this is my full 100% honest opinions on the bag. Um, so let's get into it. And so far it's been going very well. I want to give you kind of an overview again on the bag, dimensions, weight, all that stuff. But I want to show you what can fit in the bag and kind of my overall view on where this bag lines up in my um, in the variety of bags that I own. I have a lot of medium to large bags and so the smaller bags I haven't really focused on finding a bag that works perfect for me. But I would say this one fits in that category of a smaller bag. Um, I'm kind of holding it up to me and it reads maybe small to medium in size but what it can hold is a very small amount. And to me that is a pro because I will wear bags that are smaller because I don't want to carry a lot, but they look almost too junior on my frame, on my body, and it kind of doesn't seem proportionate. So what I like about this bag is that you get a lot of style, you get a lot of function, um, a smallish medium amount of storage, but it looks very proportionate while I'm wearing it over my shoulder or crossbody or clutch. Should we do that really quick? I'm gonna take the strap off. It is adjustable. The buckle hits nowhere near the collarbone. <clears throat> Very comfortable, all one piece of um, top grain cow leather. In my first video I said buffalo leather, but it's actually cow leather. I confirmed that with the company. I think I was confused by the company's name being Buffalo Jackson. So anyway, uh, so the strap is removable and where it connects to the bag is quite discreet so it can easily be worn as a clutch. And I had my birthday in February and I used this bag on my birthday dinner with my husband. I wore it as a clutch um, for the beginning of the evening and then we ended up at a thrift store which is my favorite, one of my other favorite things to do is just look through thrift stores. And I put the strap back on. I had it in my car, I put the strap back on and it was easy to shop hands-free. No worries there. I'm gonna go into the dimensions of the bag really quick before I forget. I have notes right over here. We have um, in height, this is eight and a half in height, and it goes up by t to 12 and a half in height when open. The depth is only half an inch, but this is not a half an inch. This is actually full, so it, I would say that goes to about two inches, but the magnetic closure still closes. If you can see, there's a magnetic a magnet here and a magnet here and they close really nicely and then the uh, width of it is 11 and a half and the magnet closure when I first got it you'll see in the video it was like it wasn't folding over nicely like this because the leather was so new and so stiff but within like two days it was closing just fine at the right spot there's a tassel closure, which I really like, YKK zipper. I'll zoom you in again, just so you can really enjoy the colors. The sunlight's right behind the camera, so you can really see the texture of this bag. I haven't reviewed a lot of top green bags, but I really like the texture that this bag still offers. Isn't that amazing? I know I'm considered kind of a leather snob, like, I've seen a lot of leather bags, I have a lot of opinions about them, but my friends who aren't leather snobs really were gravitating towards this one when I was wearing it. I think it has a much more trendy, current style to it, and it feels very thick, it feels soft. It's uniform in color, which I know is um, a pro or con to some people. To me, I don't mind the color. I think it's a really, really genuine looking leather cognac. It's actually called Saddle Tan. 
And when you open it up, we have interior lining. Um, that's another thing. I don't really care about lining in my leather bags. It doesn't stop me from purchasing one, but there are a handful of girls out there that will not buy a bag because there's no lining. So those same friends who um, really enjoyed the style of this, when they saw the lining, they're like, oh, that really, really makes me like the bag. Uh, this is where I keep my wallet and the main lip gloss that I've been wearing. Uh, it's pretty easy to get in and out of my wallet because it's a top access wallet. Here, I can show you really quick. Um, I can just pop in and out from the top and then there's a the zipper. But this is a very standard size wallet. I was measuring it towards my other ones. Um, the ones that are like kind of three sides are a zipper and you open it and there's like horizontal layout for all the cards. That would fit just perfectly right here. On the back, we have a full zipper. Well, not a full zipper, but it is a significant zipper in size to house my cell phone. Samsung Galaxy S7. And so that's where I've been storing my cell phone. Um, that's working out just fine. Or my cell phone, I think that always ends up in like my back pocket. And then when you open it up here, there is a top zipper for Mark security. And I want to point out like how much leather is on either side right here. Um, so the mouth is a little more narrow, but it hasn't stopped me from enjoying the bag. I just want to point out that detail. It's actually quite a finished look um, right here. More of that pretty black and white striped lining. In the inside here, I just had a little pouch with some odds and ends and then the inside of the bag uh, there you go I should say I I had this in here but it's not storing a lot this bag actually is quite organized with its pocket options that you can kind of avoid using pouches um, I'll show that here this back pocket because there's a zipper in here that is completely full of the most random things. Um, pens, lip gloss, mascara, feminine products, um, <clears throat> hand sanitizer, uh, another pen, some medication. And I kind of like having everything in that back pocket because um, if ever you need to put something just in the main area, it's not gonna be surrounded by all this clutter in a way. I do want to show you the, um, the file facts, personal size, what that looks like in here. So this is my nude personal size file facts. I've been using this every single day lately. So this can fit in just fine and I'll load up that back pocket so we're sure it can all fit. so many pens. I have to get a refill for my husband on his pen, so that's why his is in here. But I don't know, I just don't like that scenario where you don't have a pen to use. Okay, so that back pocket is zipped up and full. The agenda uh, file of facts is in there. Let me put my cell phone in the back pocket. And yeah. Still folds over closed. So now check out the depth. It actually can hold quite a bit and still connect with the magnet. Um, I don't know if you carry an agenda, but uh, some days I do, some days I don't, so it's nice that I can pop it in here if I need to. Um, I think I see this bag more as like, the day I go through Ikea or I'm doing more shopping, but I don't need to really reference a list or anything. Um, it's just a really cute summer bag. I really like the leather. The smell of the leather was amazing. Um, this company has uh, several women's bags. There's two collections that they have right now, the Camden and the Madison. So this is from the Madison collection. 
There is a tote in the Camden where I'm like, ooh, that tote is mighty cute. It's uh, like an espresso brown, um, but I don't have any experience with that line of leather. Um, I'm referencing my notes again. I wanna make sure I'm covering everything for us and I'm going to model the bag so you can see what that looks like on me. This is top grain cow leather. They have a 30 day return policy so note that it's it's a pretty standard amount of time and they have a two-year warranty on their leather bags they do sell a lot of men's bags and apparel so be sure to just browse the website and check it all out and the price for this bag is $144.95 so if you were to consider this bag in your lineup of bags think of it as small but it looks proportionate on your body um, I'm 5'5", so I'm pretty average height, but I really like how this looks, and I really enjoy the fast access to my wallet, the organization with several pockets, and um, this flap closure. I just think that's a really cute style. So let me readjust the camera for you, and I'll model it. So here's the bag in crossbody mode. I have it on its shortest setting. So this strap is made for crossbody. Um, I don't think this is going to be the best shoulder bag, but you could punch more holes in the strap so that it could be a shoulder bag if that's what you like to do. But my preference is always, always crossbody. I'm 5'5", five, five, and I want to show you where the buckle hits me on the back. Out of the way, doesn't touch any of my bone or my shoulder. Um, let me show you what it looks like on its longest setting. And this gets quite long. I actually don't even mind wearing it this long either. If you can see, just easy, casual, really, really comfortable. And I could adjust it one more time to show you what it looks like in shoulder mode. This is on the last setting. There is, I did want to show they have um, an extra moving piece of leather to catch the tail, so that's helpful. This is the shortest setting, and what I'm saying is you could punch more holes over here um, to make it shoulder. That's not hard to do. They have those leather punches at Michael's you could pick up. So this is the shoulder. Not bad, but I don't think that's the design of the bag. It's to be worn crossbody. Do you want to see what it looks like in a uh, clutch form? Why not? There you are. It's very cute. Isn't that just a cute color? Have it under your arm. I am such a casual person that it's nice to have like a casual clutch for a date night, but it's not going to be like, um, I don't know. It just elevates the whole style of your outfit, if you know what I mean. So thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram, The Perfect Leather Bag, and be sure to check out other leather bag videos on my channel. I'll see you later.